My name is James Postel and I do fresco work, which uh, as most people may know uh, was done about 500 years ago, perfected by Michelangelo, uh, most notably on his Sistine Chapel. Uh, this is the process by which I am going to do called slaking lime. Uh, lime is what makes plaster in fresco, it's what you put on the wall and you paint as it dries onto the, onto the wet plaster. So if you look here, this is lime which is ready to be added to water. And uh, <clears throat> in a few minutes here, you will see quite a volatile reaction as it's being slaked in the water. Um, it needs to be uh, sitting in water for quite a long time for the lime to be prepared and for it to mature before it can actually be used on the wall as plaster. So this is the very first step in fresco painting is to do what's called slaking lime. So as the water begins to absorb the powder, it will begin to heat up and start to bubble right away, at which point it'll start to its reaction. It'll give off a lot of heat. And then you stir it, keep it from burning too much. You don't want it to burn. Moving it around. It's been great being artist in residence here at the Penny Center because it's been such a good opportunity to, to give me the time that I need to, to learn about frescoes. I've been really learning quite a lot in my in my time here studying this craft, and uh, it's been it's been great having the time to discover all these interesting little things about frescoes and there's so much that goes into it so having this time has been really uh, invaluable beautiful just like whipped cream okay i've just put the slaked the freshly slaked lime into a pail which i'm going to store for a long time and um, as I mentioned before, it's called slaking, and that means it's immersed in water. So what I have to do now to prevent this lime from reacting with the air and turning into calcium carbonate, I have to add some water over top of it and just let it sit immersed in water. It's said that Michelangelo used the lime that had been slaking in water for at least 10 years. So the longer the better, is what I understand. This is my first attempt at a fresco. Um, I had a piece of drywall which I attached to a piece of plywood and over top of the drywall I nailed down um, mesh. And over top of the mesh I applied some layers of plaster. And my final layer of plaster I put on in stages. So I, I divided this picture roughly into about five different areas. And in fresco it's called giornata, which means day, a day's work. So what you do in fresco is you, you put down as much plaster as you think you can get done in a day's work. And if you look really closely, you can see one particular area here, which you're not supposed to do it this way. You're supposed to put it up against where, say, something like a tree meets the sky, not into the sky because you'll see the join. So I did one area, one join here, and another one here, one here, one here, one here. So I divided it into, into different sections and applied plaster for each section. 